Well, hello 3E. We're going to talk today about paying expenses. Uh, this is the same goal as last time, basically. I understand the cost of living expenses and how they will be paid. Um, so I had you uh, looking up the cost of living expenses. Now we're going to deal with how they will be paid kind of thing. Um, so we're talking about paying expenses. Now, your bills for living expenses come due at different times of the month than you are paid. Budgeting is a process of planning when to pay for your expenses so that you don't run out of money and that you get stuff paid for. Uh, the most common pay periods are weekly and if you remember weekly meant once a week and most often weekly um, payments are Friday um, but they can be other days of the week and just one other thing for weekly we knew that that was 52 times per year now semi monthly meant twice a month So um, when you get paid twice a month, that means 24 pay periods per year, 24 times per year. Bi-weekly was very, very similar. It means every other week. And if you get paid every other week, it's 26 times per year. And monthly is obviously every month. Whoops. Every month, which amounts to 12 times per year. All right, so we're going to have an example of how this pay thing works. Um, first of all, uh, example number one, Carla's net weekly pay is $328 every Friday. Every Saturday, she spends an average of $60 on groceries. Her rent of $475 includes utilities and is, as, and is paid at the end of each month. Also, she doesn't have to worry about those expenses. Um, that was written kind of badly. The expenses she doesn't have to worry about are utilities because they're paid in the rent. Um, when it says includes utilities, then she doesn't have to worry about uh, those expenses. The following chart shows her bank account for the month of October. Calculate the balance after each transaction. So we want to keep a running total here. Um, when you're calculating this kind of thing, her pay is an addition and her expense is obviously a subtraction. So we want to calculate the balance um, for each of these things. Okay, so it looks like at the beginning of October she has $513 in her bank account and then she uh, buys a bus pass. So let's put this up here. Um, $513 and then she buys a bus pass so we have to subtract the 35. So 513 subtract 35 and we're going to put that answer in here $478 and then she pay buys or pays her phone bill which is $20 so we need to subtract another 20 off of here so that's four hundred and fifty eight and then she gets paid so when she gets paid we're gonna add this on uh, four hundred and fifty eight plus 328 equals 786 so we put 786 in here now you're going to carry on with this and I strongly suggest that you put me on pause right now uh, and I'm going to fill the rest of this in just momentarily but if you put me on pause then you can um, then you can fill it in and then check to see if your answer matches mine So there we go. 
Um, this is her balance, and we added in the rent as an expense down at the end, which was missing. Um, and our final balance is $807. And let's take a look at what the next page is asking us. It says, example number two, the following questions refer to example one. Did Carla budget wisely over the course of the month? Well, let's have a look. Did Carla budget wisely? Well, she started with $513 and she ended with $807. So she budgeted actually fairly wisely um, because she has more money left over at the end of the month than she started with. Um, so yes, she did. Yes, she managed to save some money. Even. Okay, so she budgeted very well and she ends up with more money than she started with. Why does Carla make sure to pay her bills on time? Um, this one you can't really uh, get from the work that we did on the example number one, but why does anybody pay their bills on time? Um, usually because there are late fees. That's a big one. There are late fees. You have to pay more money if you don't pay it on time. And secondly, there's something called a credit rating. Um, it would lower her credit rating. If she were late. Now, a credit rating is, there are companies, credit companies, uh, that keep track of when people um, pay their stuff on time. Uh, and if you, uh, your utility company, if you don't pay it on time, or your rent, if you don't pay it on time, they contact these credit people and say, hey, we're having trouble with the, these people, and it lowers the credit rating. So what that means is if you need to get a loan at the bank at some time in the future, um, the bank's going to contact these credit people and the credit people are going to say mm, they don't pay their bills and so the bank's not going to give you a loan or even your landlord <clears throat> if you go to rent somewhere else they they may before they let you rent a apartment or a house um, they may check the credit company and see that you didn't pay your bills on time and they may decide that they don't want to rent to you when is Carla's balance greatest well let's take a look Carla's balance is greatest do, 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 right here towards the end of the month right before she pays this big um, rent check. So end of month before paying rent is the time when it's the greatest. And when is it least? Um, well, opening balance. Um, and then after rent. It's the least. Okay, so if we took a look at at her expenses here. Uh, her opening balance was the least, but other than that, um, she builds up, she builds up, she builds up, she builds up, and then she pays the rent, and it's back down. That's a big chunk back down. So mostly it's her opening balance before she gets paid anything. Okay, next example. Hank has a net pay of $2,125 per month. Uh, this does not include utilities. He has the following bills to pay during the month. So he has rent, which is a biggie. Uh, his hydro sewer water bill is 105 It's pretty big too. Um, he has internet, which is $55. A car loan, which is 312 Car insurance, which is $95. And his credit card, um, $112. So that's what he's going to have to pay this month. Uh, the what on here is fixed 
and what do you think might change from month to month? Well, let's have a look. Rent should remain steady. Hydro, sewer, and water, that might change um, because it, and it depends. For some of your utility bills, you can be on, a, on an equal monthly installment plan and they just sort of give you an average to pay every month. And then at the end of the year, if you're over or under, they adjust your last, your last check. Um, but generally, uh, it will likely be a little bit different. Um, internet is usually the same monthly payment. Uh, car loan would usually be the same monthly payment. Car insurance would usually be the same. And then credit card, I'm assuming this is for little odds and ends purchases over the course of the month. So the credit card is going to be different. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to fill in this monthly budget. So Hank gets a week bi-weekly paycheck. So if this is what he has in the month, and he's getting it bi-weekly, um, we have to make a calculation here to figure out how much he's getting. Um, <clears throat> so this is basically we're going to divide it by two, uh, but we're going to uh, do a little bit more than that because remember bi-weekly or twice twice a week, or sorry, not twice a week, every other week is not exactly two times in a month. So I can't just divide this by two. So we're going to to um, get sort of an average of, uh, of what it would be over the course of the year. So if I do two, one, two, five, and I know that's per month, so I'm gonna times that by 12, two, one, two, five, Two one two five times twelve is twenty five five hundred. So twenty five thousand five hundred is what the yearly salary is. And then we're going to divide that into. Remember, biweekly, every other week was twenty six times a year. So twenty five fifty or five hundred divided by twenty six times per year. So twenty. 26 times per year divided by 26 is 987 980.77 so here we have to make some decisions his first paycheck um, is going to be that $980.77 now we're only talking about what he's paying out of his paycheck he might have some extra money in his account but we're only talking about what he's going to pay out of his paycheck because you should always try to um, spend a little bit less than what your paycheck is so the first thing this says is he has uh, rent rent is before the start of the next month or the end of month so he's not going to pay that out of his first paycheck what's he going to pay out of his first paycheck uh, eighth of the month is in the first half so remember in October about the 15th is halfway um, for all for all of our uh, budgeting work we can assume that 15 is halfway um, so we've got this one and this one need to be paid out of the first paycheck so a hundred and five dollars for hydro sewer and water so a hundred and five dollars and then the other one is three hundred and twelve dollars for the car loan so he's got a car loan, which will count as an other bill. Oh, no, no, there it is, car loan. $312. Now, total amount spent, we got to add up his expenses, which is going to be $417, if you add those up. You can take out a calculator, you don't have to do it in your head, but $417 uh, are what his expenses are going to be. Uh, and remaining from the first paycheck, we're going to have to subtract those things. So when you pull your calculator out, you take his original paycheck, and don't use all of those digits, um, $980.77, subtract $417 even. So he's got $563.77, $563.77 at the end of his first paycheck. Now, 
paycheck plus carryover. This is carryover. The stuff that was left. Carry over. Okay. So he gets his second paycheck and we carry this over. So we have to add on his paycheck. Uh, see, I've already got the carryover still on my calculator, so I'm going to press plus 980, 77. If you're in the habit of pressing clear after you punch something into the calculator, get out of that habit because you might need that number for your next calculation. Uh, so it's 1544.54. 1544.54. And now let's take a look at what he has to pay out of that second half of the month. Um, so we're going to need the rent. The rent's a biggie, $515. And I would say for $515, you were looking up rent on places. $515 probably means he's sharing a place. Either that or it's a little apartment. Um, internet, 55 Now that is another bill. We don't have cable or satellite, car payment, other bills. So he's got internet here. So the internet is $55. Um, and this one here, car insurance is $95. So car insurance, $95. And lastly, a credit card payment. So he's been putting all his little odds and ends on his credit card. Uh, so credit card payment is $112 even. So now we're going to add up total spent. We've got to add all of these things up. So let's pull up the calculator. Clear that out of there. So 515 plus 95 plus 112 plus 55. So you can see a lot of his big bills came due at the end of the month. So you got 777 And so it's a good job he had a little bit left over at the end of the month. Uh, but it looks like he's going to be doing pretty well. He's going to have a fair bit of his paycheck left over because that doesn't um, meet his carry-on expenses, carry-over expenses. So we've got 1544. Subtract 777. $767.54. Seven six seven fifty four. Okay, so um, you have a little bit of work to do filling this out. Now Hank did really well budgeting his paycheck. Um, there could have been, there could be lots of other expenses there that we that we weren't talking about because I don't see anything for food unless that's what he put on his uh, credit card payment which is possible. Uh, $112 over the course of the month for food is pretty good. Of course, he's a single person, so um, it would be less than if he was paying for a family. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is a really good savings of his paycheck. Um, but he did really well to budget his money on just this amount of stuff. Okay, so you got a bit of work to do.